excellent work, team, on a very challenging job. Hey, I'm Patrick Seitz. I am a voice actor. I also do script adaptation. I also do voice directing. And I'm also a voice actor, which I said twice, but I'm cognizant of it. Because I do it a lot. It just seemed like a nice sort of bookend to the, the mini CV. So yes, Patrick Seitz, voice actor, other stuff, voice actor. Rodney the Blood Edge from Blaze Blue, who's just kind of a jerk to people all the time. You're out of luck! Garrosh Hellscream from World of Warcraft. Times change. Uh, if you play uh, League of Legends, and if you like playing a little alien sometimes, I'm Kogma, who goes blah! And then Frankie from One Piece, who's all like, You pirates are all a bunch of sore losers! Yeah! Lots of guys. Lots of yelly guys. A lot of yelly guys. But some guys that don't yell, that's cool too. A lot of rage. A lot of rage, and when it's time to scream, I just tap into this seemingly never-ending reservoir. No, um, I, uh, I got into musical theater in high school, because my high school teacher would do, instead of, I know a lot of uh, high school theater apartments will do shows throughout the year, my high school was like, nope, we're doing one show each year, whole ball of wax, and the acting bug bit me, so I started taking acting and singing lessons with the lady who directed those. She didn't even teach at the school, she was this older woman who had, had studied with Lee Strasberg back in the day. Because uh, this was back in the day, and she was already, you know, older, so... Whew. Um, and then, uh, eventually, you know, I did theater all through high school and college, and then I thought I'm gonna move to L.A. and be an actor. It's just that simple. Spoilers, it's not just that simple. Um, but when I did, the, the woman that I'd been studying with said, Hey, you've got an interesting voice, because I've basically sounded like this from, like, puberty on when I was just as tall and half as big and just like a scarecrow with like this super low voice. Uh, you might want to do voiceover on the side because I came out here. I wanted to do TV and movies and blah blah. Had no idea what I was doing. Had never lived away from home. Didn't know anything about anything. Yay, acting. Uh, and voiceover ended up being, thankfully, where I had some luck. And so I kept pursuing that and um, I'm glad I did. No, usually not. I mean, it's kind of like it's kind of like opera. If you've if you've been the you know the bass baritone, they're gonna hire you to do your bass baritone thing unless they're like, you know what, let's go crazy and today try to be like a, a baritone. You're like, Whoa. a lot of times what you're doing is going to be uh, even if it's not exactly something you've done before, it's somewhere on that dial. <laughs> you know, and then from working with people you've worked with before, they'll be like, sometimes if it's a director you've worked with a lot, they can be like, it's kind of like this, but give it some of this or give it some of that or add a little bit of that. And there's a lot of times you are modifying or adding to a sound you have done before. Voice actors do get physical. They get super physical. They just have to get physical in a way that doesn't move them off axis of the microphone or make any extraneous sound. Um, yeah, I mean, as long as you stay on mic, you can always move your arms, you can get your body into it, uh, especially with screaming stuff and physical stuff. By the end of those sessions, sometimes my entire torso will hurt just from the clenching of the yelling. Answer that question in part two, right here on Talking Voices. I'm Patrick Seitz. Please subscribe to Verite VoiceOver here on YouTube.